At least 43 people are dead, another 85 injured following a head-on train collision in central Greece. The country's transport minister has resigned. The prime minister says the incident is an unspeakable tragedy caused by human error. Let's go live to Greece now. CNN reporter Nada Bashir joins us. Nada, what's the latest information you have? Well, look, the investigation here is still very much ongoing. And you can see behind me, there are still fire brigade teams here. There are still search teams present, a very heavy police presence. And this is set to continue overnight as that investigation continues. But as you mentioned there, we've heard from the prime minister now saying that this is most likely caused by what he described as tragic human error. And we do know that a train station manager from the nearby station of Larissa has now been arrested. He is expected to appear before prosecutors over the coming days. But there is also the question of the safety measures here in Greece and whether or not they were strictly implemented across the rail network. In fact, earlier today, the country's transport minister announced his resignation. He said that he was doing this as a sign of respect to those who had lost their lives. But he also conceded that the safety measures in place, the standards here in Greece when it comes to the rail network, are simply not up to the standard one would expect in the 21st century, despite efforts by the government to improve and make improvements over the last three years. So there will certainly be questions over the course of this investigation over whether or not the safety measures in place are enough, whether they've been properly implemented and how this have been, may have been into play over the course of this collision. But of course, as that investigation continues, and we are still learning more details around that investigation, the human toll, the tragedy uh, is becoming clear. As you mentioned there, we've already seen that death toll rising over the course of the last few hours. Dozens still in hospital, including those in intensive care, according to local hospital officials who also say that many of those involved in the collision were young people. So this is a huge tragedy for this local area, a huge tragedy for Greece, of course, as they begin to come to terms with that human tragedy. Nada, the, the scene, I imagine, is just uh, horrific. We heard one official describe the, the impact of this collision as so great that literally two of the carriages just cease to exist. It's almost just like they were obliterated into thin air. If you can, can you describe uh, the scene, the, the wreckage? How far does the wreckage stretch and over kind of what distance? Well, it's difficult to see behind me. I mean, it is still very dark here, but those two first carriages have, of course, were completely destroyed in that fire but you may be able to see behind me one of the carriages completely turned on its side and it is anticipated that many of those who were injured or lost their lives uh, in this tragic collision were in those first few carriages behind me now of course that search operation is continuing but the chances of finding survivors is fading very very quickly there are search teams across this area there is still a very heavy police presence and the fire teams will be working overnight. According to authorities, there are at least 70 fire personnel still on the scene at the moment. That may increase tomorrow morning when the conditions allow uh, for more work to continue. It is very cold, very wet and very dark, which has made things a little bit more difficult for the emergency services over the course of their response effort. But it is still continuing. And the question is, of course, how many more people will survive this? There are still so many in hospital their conditions unknown, many in intensive care with critical injuries, of course. So that death toll is expected to still rise, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and we will learn more about that tomorrow. The officials, of course, are continuing with that recovery effort, but this is, will be a difficult time for the local area, a difficult time for the country. And what the message that we've heard from the Prime Minister at this stage is that they are focusing on ensuring that something like this never happens again. Indeed, Nada, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. CNN reporter Nada Bashir live there from Greece.